Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be the first of many Christmas decorate with me videos. I know I'm a little late to the party, but you know, if you saw my haul, my DIY video that I put out of Christmas decor, make sure you check that out. I've been preparing, but now it is time to really start turning my home into a festive one. Um, I'm gonna be posting a few videos. I plan on not only decorating, but obviously my tree, a few more items. I might rack up a little more decor on Black Friday. So make sure you're subscribed. I don't want you to miss anything. And please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'll link anything you need down below and let's get into it. So starting off here, you guys, I really, really love the look of adding wreaths to the cabinet, especially since I have such a white kitchen. Um, I just feel like it gives it that nice little pop of color. Um, and this is my second year in a row doing this, but I have new wreaths, new wreaths this year from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm also not going to be doing the ribbon to hold the wreaths of. I'm, I'm actually using um, those little mini command hooks. I don't know. I just felt like it would be a little like sleeker if I didn't do the ribbons and just did the um, reefs kind of like floating there. And I really like the look of that. Also, don't mind me here, you guys. I am five months pregnant and I should not be standing on this chair like this. I should be using a freaking ladder or waiting until my husband gets home so he can do this for me. But, you know, I, I was impatient and I was just doing it myself. But, you know, no one was harmed in the, in the making of this video. But I really, really love these. I um, actually don't have enough for all the cabinets. I didn't count correctly in the cabinets over the refrigerator. I won't be able to put them on. Um, I'm missing one. And I've literally been checking Hobby Lobby, checking the website, going to the store near me, trying to see if I can find the one uh, more that I need. And I haven't had any luck so far, but they still look really, really good. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these on the cabinets um, that I have. And then I'll move on to the next thing. adding my little Christmas Village figurines. I found these at Target last year. Um, I think they were in the dollar spot, but just adding those on the counter and then going ahead and refilling my oil because I realized that it was out. Um, and then I'm just going to keep going with the decor. <music> Next, you guys, you always have to keep a Christmas candle at the ready. So I'm just adding this here along with these um, reindeers that I got from Home Goods a few years ago. And then I'm going on to tackle the mantle, you guys. This is like, you know, you have to have a nice Christmas mantle. Now, the plan is to build a fireplace in here. We haven't got there yet. Um, it was one of the pre-pregnancy projects that we had on the list that did not get completed um but you know i'm working with what we have so we have our um tv kind of mantle fireplace that we've had for a few years now and so i'm going ahead and decorating that now i'm using hooks on the um, front and kind of top of the mantle to try to secure it i'm also using my a floral um garland this is new. I It was a part of my haul, so I'll make sure I link that. But I am really, really excited to use these, you guys. And I want like a nice, full-looking 
garland so I am going to be doubling up here and then along with that I also have a garland from Michaels that's kind of just like a glittery little um in all honesty cheap little garland that I'm kind of going to use to like fill in the middle and give it a little more like dynamic of a look um and I'm going to layer these and even though in the video I'm doing it like where I put one on top of the other I actually end up staggering it a little bit that way there's kind of some hang on the side of the fireplace so that is what I'm doing here you guys I am adding these twinkle lights from Target I love these things they are so cheap I think I got two pairs of these um, last year when they were on sale um, the day after Christmas I think I only paid two dollars a piece but I got another one of them this year and it was five bucks so I'll link that down below but I'm just adding this into the garland this is um, battery operated so I love what they add um, and I ended up ultimately adding two You guys, I came across this really cool idea on Pinterest where you tie a bow around your existing table books. I thought this was such a cool way to add some like festivity to some decor you already have. And so I am just going to do that here. Um, I'm actually using tape to do like the four sides of the bow instead of doing like a real tie because I felt like it was gonna save me ribbon or be more secure and I could control better that I have the right side of the ribbon showing maybe not maybe there's a better way to do this I mean you know I am not please don't be the ribbon police this is what works for me but I got this um ribbon and I thought it would be cool to go with this kind of light brown goldish color just to tie in a little bit more of that gold color and then as you can see here I have my like white binding table books um like ones that have a lot of white in them so that's what i'm using here but i got this ribbon from walmart and i'll make sure i link it down below but i absolutely love it and i love how this turned out um in addition to just like wrapping the books i'm just going to add some decor here as well um let me know if you want any more detail on any of it but i will try to link it all down below <music> Next, you guys, I kept it pretty simple on my bookshelf. I also wrapped the table books over here with the green ribbon, um, but I'm just adding those nutcrackers that I showed you guys in my DIY video. Um, just adding a little Christmas tree, a little tabletop tree that I happen to have on hand, but nothing crazy over here. I think I'll add some more decor later as I get more, but this is what I have so far. 
One great Christmas decor hack is to buy pillowcases for throw pillows instead of full Christmas pillows. That way you don't have to like worry about where you're gonna store the Christmas pillows when it's not Christmas. So I bought these from H&M last year. Um, it was just a set of two, but I love these, super simple. And I just go ahead and like use an existing pillow I have, put that in there, and then I add that to my couch instead of having to worry about storing a whole bunch of Christmas throw pillows. <music> So that is it you guys next time i will be adding my christmas tree obviously uh, my staircase my mirror i have plenty more things that i need to decorate but this is where we started i hope you enjoyed this video please leave any comments you have down below and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.